In this episode of Field Ready, we're going to do an unboxing of the all-new Geode GNS3 receiver. We're going to take a look inside, give you an idea of what you get when you buy this product. Let's jump in. So here we have a brand new Geode, and you can see right here is the serial number and the part number. Comes in a nice small package. Let's open it up and see what we have. Here's the geode. We're going to take this and set it aside. And first thing we're going to do is take a look at what accessories come with the product. Okay, now we've taken all the accessories out of the box and I'm going to go through these to give you an idea of what comes with the product. So first we have in here the power supply and it's a neat little compact power supply. Fold out the prongs just like that. So it's easy to pack away when you're traveling. Fold those out. And then if you see on this side here, it's a USB charger. And it comes with ports for both USB Type-C and for USB-A. That'll be important. I'll explain that a little bit later. We'll set that over here. Because this is a North American and European kit, they also give you some adapters. Of course, with the charger, you can use this in all the Americas and in Japan. We give you a plug for the European countries and an adapter for the United Kingdom. And these adapters are really nice. To put one on, you just snap the prongs back in. And you can see right here where we connect it, we just slide them together. And there you go, there's your adapter. Now, if you're working in Australia and New Zealand, the product comes with a different adapter that looks just like this, but it has the prongs for Australia and New Zealand. I'll set those aside. Along with the charger and adapters, you get two cables. Now we get a USB A to C cable. So this is a legacy cable that works also with some of our other products, which gives you a USB 3 type A to USB C plug, which is what we interface with the Geo GNS3. And then we give you another cable, which is a USB-C to C plug. And this is the recommended cable to use for charging the device. And if you want to power the device at the same time that uh, you're using it. Lastly, in the box, we also have this little adapter. This is very useful. This is our brass adapter that you can attach to the geode. And it has a camera tripod thread on one side, which is a quarter inch by 20 threads per inch. And then on the inside, it's a 5 8 by 11 thread that fits on standard GIS and survey poles. And that's the adapter. These are all the items that come with the Geo GNS3 in the box. And now we're going to take a look at the geode itself. All right, I've moved the accessories out of the way. Now let's take a look at the geode itself. Get out of the wrapper here. So here's the geode GNS3. You notice it's a nice, small, compact receiver. It's about four inches to a side. Yeah, what about two inches thick, roughly? It's a rugged design. It's IP68, water and dust proof. Very rugged. Up on the front here, this is where the user will interface with the product. We have two ports. This is the USB-C port. And here's a cover, and the covers are improved from the previous product, they now snap in. Here's the antenna port, if you want to use an external antenna port. And right here is the power button. To operate the geode, simply turn it on. Green light comes on, you're getting power. When you connect with Bluetooth, you'll get a blue light. And when it has a usable position, the yellow light will start flashing, then turn solid, indicating you have a corrected position. I'll just turn that off. Oh, one feature I should let you know about, something new we've added to the geode. The power button also functions as a hardware reset. So if you maybe aren't using the Geode Connect software and some other third party software or some settings have been changed, you can press and hold the power button and reset all the settings on the receiver. The receiver itself, it weighs about 14 ounces, so just under a pound. And like I said, it's very rugged. We've done drop testing with the Geode. We've done pole drops. We've done uh, falling off of a off of the roof of a vehicle. Lots of types of tests just to validate that it's a durable product. Turn that off. On the bottom here, 
This is where the product label is. And you'll notice that this label says GNS3M. It has this orange stripe here. It says GNS3M. That's because the new Geo GNS3 comes in a few different models with different feature sets. We have the GNS3S, which is our single frequency product, which has all the same features that our GNS2 product had. And the GNS3M, this is our fully featured new product, which is scalable in accuracy. Using different correction services, you can get submeter, subfoot, or decimeter, or four inch accuracy, which is about the size of the geode. You'll notice right here, the nine pin connector, it's now recessed. You can see it's flush with the product. And that now comes standard on all of our geode receivers. Also, all geode receivers now come standard with support for all of the global navigation constellations, including GPS, Galileo, GLONASS, and Beto. On the bottom, we have three inserts here. And these are different ways that you can attach the product to different types of mounts. The two outside inserts are sized for and match up with common RAM mount parts. And the center mount is a quarter by 20 thread that fits on a camera tripod. And if you remember the adapter, we can take the geode and attach the pole adapter like that. And now we can attach the geode to a standard survey GIS pole. That was a quick look at the all new Geode GNS3 GNSS receiver. For more information about the Geode, contact us or visit our product page at the link below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future episodes of Field Ready.